is this vlog is dedicated to Rebecca M. Not M as in Moriarty, M as in something French that I have a hard time pronouncing. So sorry, Rebecca, but this is for you. I'm not obsessed, obsessed. Be slightly enthralled, mildly obsessed. If you haven't seen the show, then I recommend that you watch it before watching this because this won't make any sense and might spoil some things. I don't really know what's gonna happen, so just consider yourself warned. First. Oh, Mycroft. Molly. Go Watson. Uh, Moriarty. Uh, ugh. Mary! Oh, Sherlock. Dat. As for the others, I didn't care enough to include them, so sorry about that. Moving on. I may or may not be taking up the violin. I wear scarves of a blue and purple variety whilst popping my coat collar. I think and sometimes speak in a British accent. Hello! I drink copious amounts of tea. I actually own the Hounds of Baskerville. I am in search of a short, militant best friend. I text now. That's new. I now make deductions about people in public. Deductions that are not necessarily spot on. They're wrong. They're completely off, actually. Allow me to set the scene for you. I walk into a coffee shop. The smell of coffee engulfs my senses because it's a coffee shop. The barista is looking rather frazzled. Hair messed up, smudges on the apron, right pant leg tucked into right sock. Somebody got dressed in a hurry this morning. The bags under their eyes suggest an even earlier arrival time. The opening shift of 5 a.m. Now, all of that might be true, but that's not the deduction I was talking about. I'm talking about the other one, the man next to me. To my right, I see a man sitting at a window, possibly looking at anything. He's wearing a freshly ironed dress shirt with one crease down the middle, suggesting that it was not freshly ironed. He sits squirming in his chair, clearly being made uncomfortable by the woman sitting across from him. The woman, nicely dressed, hair up in a bun. She's clearly a secret agent. The man is obviously wanted by the authorities because of an offshore drilling expose that he recently published in which he encountered five CIA agents, one of which is sitting across the table from him, and now he has to deliberate whether or not the woman is there to kill him. When, in reality, it, he's just a businessman drinking his coffee, possibly uncomfortable because he put his underwear on backwards that morning. I don't know. I have no way of knowing that. And thus my deductions get a little out of hand. It's becoming a real problem. Everyone's either a secret agent or a bloodthirsty criminal because I deduce that. Anyhow, Sherlock is an amazing show and I encourage you to watch it. With brilliant writing and a phenomenal cast, they Sherlocked that one up. 